everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. We have the person who was, um, you know, the other day mentioning that they are going to be, uh, you might want to check the VTuber drama I tweeted, probably will save your career. I've been banned. I have banned Techaholic with 200k subs gone. YouTube banned Taiga for making the same loot stuff you have. You become an example of Team YouTube having double standards. Uh, as long as it's marked for not children, um, I don't have, I don't see an issue, honestly, with uh, with Shy Lily doing what she's doing. It's like, uh, I'm going to spend every second of my life reporting videos of Shy Lily, Kafefe, Scuchan, and Lion Chu for more loot channels until Team YouTube stops having double standards. That is, um, this guy's just a little bit uh, off his rocker, in my opinion. Stop having double standards. I have become a new Metal Gear. You have not. Again, they're using, here's the issue I have. If you have the kind of content that this guy likes to the point where you're making such negative content or such drama baiting content or whatever it is, people can accuse me of that too. But I try to stay neutral. If you're not neutral and you give this guy, because of your content, you give them the, the firepower that they need to go and attack others um, and they use you as a manifesto, um, they use you as a manifesto of what they're doing, you should really rethink the kind of content you're making. You should rethink the kind of message you're sending because it's not necessarily you were intending to have that happen, but now that you know that your content is getting uh, treated that way, uh, the, the, I'm talking about the, the Gyaro Cat VTuber. Now that you know that your content is getting treated that way, maybe tone it down a bit and maybe make sure you're a little bit more responsible with the way that you make your content. We have a responsibility as content creators to make sure that we do not spur on uh, hate campaigns, that we do not spur on hate in our uh, our videos. We do not bring specific hate to things. Yes, I do actually, you know, critique people. I criticize them. I try to give both sides. I do. I correct myself when I make those mistakes. So that's why my videos aren't being used. So that's the way, that's the way I think. If you have videos that are of an inflammatory nature that someone is going to be using for inflammatory reasons, maybe start thinking about how you can maybe change the message a little bit to be a little bit more responsible. That's my opinion, at least. Uh, this is that Team YouTube I reported 50 plus videos from another YouTuber, Tigerverse. Here's proof I abused uh, the report system and content that doesn't break any rules. Minus Tim Pool's misleading fake news. So he's telling on himself somehow? I don't know what the heck that's all about. But yeah, that's my opinion on the... the uh, the whole responsibility we have as content creators is continue here. Shy Lily streams on Twitch, considering he threatened to report her videos. I'm not sure exactly matters. Also threatened Tyga's uh, Twitch account. Which wouldn't surprise me who start going after Twitch accounts next. Read my manifesto. Seems like totally hinge and normal thing to say. Also, they can't seem to decide if they're going after loot tubers, peas, or Nazis. And like uh, connecting either of the first two to the third is wild. Dude is cuckoo in the head. Read my blank. Sounds like a 12 year old who learned about some third world freedom fighter. Yeah, this guy's a little bit off his rocker, but uh, there's a reason why my videos weren't used for that. Uh, you know, at least I think so. At least because I try to be, uh, I get a lot of hate because I try to be objective. I get a lot of hate because I am objective in the way that I try to do things, try to point out things here. And I'm fine with that. It, if it leads to less people using my videos as a manifesto against someone else, there's a reason why Kyo's videos aren't used that way. There's a reason why False's videos aren't used that way, even though they're bigger people. They are responsible in their language. You have to be responsible in your language when you are a content creator. Even though it seems like it's not fair, that is the, the world you want to get into. That's the world I want to get into. So I try to be as responsible as I can. He's full on crazy. He's full on cuckoo. He's lost the plot. He, I don't think he ever even knew what the plot was, but yeah. And of course you can't blame the content creator fully, but you know, tone it down is what I would say to any content creator that's going a little crazy on, on the, the hate wagon. Tone it down a bit and then maybe you won't have, you know, people like that coming at, coming on your side and using you as a manifesto. It's good to have these conversations about the things that have gone on with Nidhi Sanji. It could be a learning experience for a lot of people. It needed too big to fail. They have they already failed. You know, there's a lot of controversy that's happened. They're pretty much too big, too big to fail at this point. This point is even possible to get them back where they once were. Could they possibly do better at this reputation? I don't think it's possible to return how Nidhi once was because they already have all the bad PR and it would be a little bit of too little too late in order to get them to where they were based on a PR standpoint. They've lost it. They've lost the PR. That's where they messed up. They, for their livers still though, they still have the responsibility to go and be better. 
They still have the responsibility, no matter if they have a chance to come back with full force like they had before, which I don't think is possible, unfortunately, for them. Uh, whether EN can recover fully, I don't think that's possible, again, unfortunately, for them. But they still owe it to their talents, which are their bread and butter. They're the ones that freaking allow them to have, you know, <clears throat> the positions that they're in to have what they have. It is up to them to do better for them. Too big to fail, not exactly. Same with other big companies. They have resources to save a company. Company doesn't like paycheck to paycheck. It has been some backup funds just in case this type of scenario happens. That being said, their financials will take a very big hit. Reminds you of this too. Isn't it weird that people living paycheck to paycheck are supposed to have months worth of savings for emergencies? While billion dollar corporations are so poorly managed, they're on the brink of bankruptcy after a week of reduced profits. Yes, that does happen, unfortunately. We're like, ah, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, tighten your belts. What about these big companies that get these huge bailouts and things like that? What about them tightening their belts? What about them not giving uh, large uh, golden parachutes to CEOs that fail, that fail upward in a lot of cases? And like I said, we're human. We can all fail. We can all have these moments. But still, it's not fair in this case to the talents for them to continue being the way that they are. I'm just advocating for VTubers like myself. I am tiny compared to them, obviously, but I'm advocating for the VTubers here. They should be treated better and they, they, they deserve better. So I hope Nidhi Sanji actually improves. I don't want Nidhi Sanji to fail. I want them to improve so that their talents feel better. For those who don't know, the Avalon Cup is a uh, smaller agency. It's an agency specific uh, cup that's going on. And actually it's, it's like a, a, a male cup like i think it's i forget which game it is a uh, vtuber tournament with nidhi sanji vtubers in it feel like a warrant's being posted here discuss everybody they are having some you know folger they're having a couple of nidhi sanji people in there so the people in there are there they're gonna have some hollow stars people they're gonna have vanta in there you know they're having people from various different agencies being involved in there and um they are like yeah they're having a lot of a lot of you know they have Astar arcadia xander uki leo they're having some IRL people in here too. Pepper, Shu, Gale, uh, Ryoma, Machinex, Leon. Yeah, they have Hollow Stars and it's pretty much Hollow Stars and Nidhi Sanji at this point for the most part. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, I think it's just take it as it is. If they have some fun in the way that they have everything, they have Shoto in there as well. Lucian Lunaris, uh, Regis Altair, Vantacro. They have Ver Vermillion. They have Cassian uh, Crimson Ruse. They have them there as well. So. They're having a lot of interesting folks in there. Let's just see what people are saying. These Ver and Folger are getting more collabs outside of the company, and that means Folger and Ver get to collab with Cassian from Hollow Life, Ruse, which I think Folger and Ruse would like to get along with. What I think they would get along. I mean, Folger so far hasn't done anything beyond that time two years ago that he said that Hollow Life was going to fail, that Hollow, Hollow Life EN is failing, and all that kind of stuff. Beyond that, I don't think he's done anything bad. I don't think, and he does have his his disability that prevents him from traveling many many places. So that's another thing that goes on. And of course, um, at least Hollow Stars are not the same team as Uki. Octavio buff for team, money on team fellowship. I ain't watching team V5, team five. So yeah, some people aren't gonna like certain things, but it is good for anyone, any VTuber that's a part of it, whether they be a part of Nidhi Sanji or not. I'm going, like I always say, I always, always advocate for the VTubers, not so much for the agencies. So the VTubers are doing well. The VTubers are going to continue doing well. And I'm glad for that. The agency can go kick rocks. Nidhi Sanji can go, you know, jump off a uh, very tall ledge, so to speak. They can do that all they want, as long as their uh, VTubers are doing well. Again, I've hit this on the head so many times, but let's just go one more time with this. Uh, small rabbit hole moment I need to share because I decided to dig into Hicks Haywire. It baffles me that he has a platform at all. First, they're saying he was a drama tuber before being a VTuber. He wasn't crazy big, but I remember having around 50K on YouTube. Content was incredibly problematic and what brought me aware with a small Reddit post. The Reddit post here, TLDR, he started off as a FNAF theory channel. They banned it into a drama tuber account from Nerdbirds to Noxious Gamer to Darkio to Kirio Cypher, Hex Kirio Darko, referring to him as Hex Clarity, was Minecraft drama tuber that covered everything about content creators in the drama field. I used to have an MC watching phase. Basically, he was a Minecraft drama tuber. Uh, recommendation a lot. Connor plugs, Jaden, uh, the beak, etc. I don't remember the contents too well, but I remember his hex specifically content farmed dream, the SMP, for being parasocial and blame the creators often for their own audience. Kind of what's happening now to him. He is uh, responsible for his own audience. According to this person, again, a risky individual for having uh, repping a brand. Only Nidhi Sanji did an actual background check. They don't do background checks. They just get the people who they know are going to make the money. Uh, and quick glances at his stats. The fans reflect the creator. A lot of times they do. Uh, 
and how the creator cultivated this mentality. As far as I'm aware, Hex is not owned by these mistakes. And whether those mistakes were intentional or not, out of hand now. His current form, he has went after drama tubers, criticizing the same behavior he criticized others for, and his sick things ate it up. I wasn't sure what Flair to use this, since there's been much people mentioning info yet. So they have um, the stuff here. Uh, trying to find an old theory channel called Nerdbirds five months ago. And it end Nerdbirds ended up being, you know, basically Hex Haywire, pretty much that way. Found the channel. Uh, channel was Nerdbirds. And Yost's reaction of searching to it has gotten bored with FNAF. He was an old fan, etc. So this person went through that and that's where they're doing it. That's where they found all their information. So he does at least bring some receipts. So yeah, I mean, anyone can have a problematic past life as long as they fix it which it doesn't seem Hex is doing, doesn't seem like Hex is interested in doing. Uh, as long as they fix it and they try to bring a better community, then I'm all for them, you know, being seen as change and being seen as doing something better. But we, that has yet to be seen with uh, someone like Hex Haywire. What kind of fan base Hex has? Again, going on the Hex thing because he's just, he's not responsible for the crazies in his community. Let me just say that 100%. He's not responsible for the craziness that people have created, but he is responsible for creating a community that uh, that has this as something being acceptable he's responsible for creating a community letting it fester for as long as it has now he's actually going and saying things against it of course he's disavowing it of course as any creator would any logical creator and good creator would but it's kind of like you can't put the genie back in the bottle once the genie's already out you know what i mean so what am i talking about this th this person here uh, Zion see this is um, saying WTF Zion Lanza blocked me wonder why it's because of leak your past life personal info cute uh, 49 minutes ago 59 minutes ago but I still have the personal info so much more it's not Zion Lanza that blocked you you blockhead it's Sayu synchronicity they're no longer Zion Lanza Zion Lanza was the person that they were in their old agency they are not that anymore they are not defined by who they were they're defined by who they are now that's the type of respect i want to give them and anyone else who leaves like michi mochi v is michi mochi v you have uh canine kudo is canine kudo not the person that they were uh delutaya is delutaya not the person that they were uh rika is rika not the person that they were in hollow life you know uh Kaysan is Kaysan, not the person that they were in hollow life whoever they end up being now is who they are now so zion didn't uh block you sayu blocked you if i'm not mistaken um or at least maybe zion did i don't know uh, spit in my face, my love, I'll go crazy. See, this, this is the type of stuff that Hex brings about. And this this is Fujo baiting, of course. This is Fujo baiting. We all know this is Fujo baiting. But um, it brings that extreme, extreme, like, stalker parasocialism. Uh, I don't mind if you do that to me instead, to be honest. Baby is, is blank right now. Oh, my God. Wait, yes. So, uh, yeah. This person is a little bit of a cuckoo, cuckoo for Hex puffs. Uh, sick things are sickening. This is what happens when you collect the mentally ill, like trading cards. Sakana is truly God amongst men, then. Where we're not worthy of his caffeinated glory. He, how to prevent Menhera, make them your VTubers. All kidding aside, it sounds like being PC helped, Face Connect helped all these girls tremendously when it comes to their mental health. No kidding, Pippa's a testament to that. It makes me feel proud of every single one of them. Yes, they've all grown. Every single person has mental health issues uh, he, that pop up on occasion. And um, when you can become better than that, when you are no longer defined by that, that is amazing. Pass me the brain bleach, please. Props to Ren for having the only speaking about Zion termination to ask people not to harass her instead of feeding more to the wolves. Exactly. Don't harass people. Just don't harass them. Our baby is what? <laughs> something, something reaping what he sows. Exactly. Which, yeah, I didn't have reading comprehension for the last few seconds. Yeah, a lot of people are like, this is this cursed. But that's what happens when you create this type of community. When you... Uh, puff up on the on the specific parasocialism when you puff up on on uh, the, the whole love 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 me love me because I love you love you love you that type of thing it creates that nothing wrong with being loving your fans nothing wrong with loving people that are around you I am a person that cares about my community as well nothing wrong with that it's just you know kind of uh, temper it a bit once you realize that there are people like that in your community temper it a little bit Rika who was previously Mel but it's now Rika, of course, remember to always call them by who they are now, which is Rika. And uh, Delu, who used to be Mano Alo, who is now Delutaya. Of course, call them Delu from now on. Delu, Delutaya. Whichever one of her fans call her, just call her that. They did a collab uh, together with Mahjong. Mahjong is something, it's basically, from what I've heard, it's basically, it's Chinese poker before poker was ever a thing. It's kind of that way. But it's like, I don't know, like, there's a bunch of stuff. There's like, holy crap, there's way too much stuff there. It's confusing as hell for me. I'll be honest with you. I could probably learn it eventually. 
But I don't even know how to do poker, for God's sakes. I never learned poker. So how the hell am I going to learn freaking Mahjong, which is more complicated than poker? You know, that's that's what I'm saying. Why does Mika Neko have anything to do with this collab? I'm seeing a number of guys mentioning her in regards to this collab, despite her not being a part of it. Or Rika and Delu talking about her in the middle of the collab or something. Um, Delu and Mika had a beef in 2022. So it says much more that people think, but it's still unnecessary to post it uh, on here. But seeing Delu and Rika having a collab warmed my heart. But Delu is as much a victim from the Sanji fans as Selen. Because I have no sympathy for them. And people just want to S on Mika and Neko. That's what they want to do. They just want to S on Mika and Neko. Don't bully people. Like I always say, just don't bully people. If you don't like them, you don't like Mika and Neko, perfectly fine. Don't don't watch them. Don't like Delu Tai. Don't, watch, don't like Rika. Perfectly fine. Don't watch them. Don't go and harass people. Just don't go and do that kind of stuff. People just want to S on Mika. You know, just don't do that pretty much. Only a few posts I see here didn't mention Mika Neko. I thought it's pretty sad to see this thread getting derailed by someone, com something completely unrelated. Yeah, celebrate that uh, Rika and Delutaya were able to do a collab. Don't go and start Sing on other people for that kind of stuff. Yes, you should uh, see no friend of cats by the name of Michael. Uh, staying clear of that cat is the most sensible thing to do. Uh, Rika also collab with Kason. Did not expect to see Yoshika in a Reddit post. Yeah, people are just being, I don't know, people are being weird. It's just, it happens a lot on Reddit and, and Twitter and 4chan and 2chan and internet in general, pretty much. Riot Music is launching a new project, Riot Action, with the uh, support to bringing support to independent VTubers. A new project called Riot Action to support production in independent VTubers. Of course, Riot Music being a music label, they're doing this primarily for uh, karaoke or, you know, music style ones. You know, there are a lot of independent VTubers who make their own music videos who do their own music production, who do things like that. And what this is trying to do is give music producing VTubers a chance, an independent music v VTuber to have a chance to maybe uh, get more support. Right here it's saying activity support, production consulting, anal analytics analysis, SNS management, production and sales of goods, live production implementation, 3D model creation, uh, original music distribution and sales, use of their studio, introduction of external PR projects, overseas expansion and expansion support, Billy Billy, appearance at company hosted events, use of karaoke studio, of, uh, you know, the karaoke audio. Uh, to be clear, people that are supported under this project are not joining Riot Music and are provided service for a fee. So it is like a, um, a membership. It's pretty much a membership. It's not an agency taking control over you. It's pretty much like a membership. You become a member of this Riot Nection where part of their, their uh, member services that they offer is all these th separate things on there. Those supported will also be taking part in the event plugged in in Akihabara in November 2nd, 2024. Current VTubers that are being produced, supported. Kogishi Hitona, Suzune, Suzune Maimu, Tsukino, uh, Tsukushiro Aoi, Minmo, Hoshifuru Ameru, Mikana Lest, uh, Togari Senya, Gyado Kokoru, all these people here. Very cute, very cute designs. I love their designs. I actually love their designs. Very nice. You can plug the link in the main site into the translator if you want more details, but basically, it's an MCN that provides the services I listed above. Yeah, it's a multi-channel network. You become a member of a network. Uh, Minmo is streaming about her affiliation with Rion as of right now. And I just saw Kochi's post on it. Pretty good stuff. I only know Mikana from the list. I wish they made it for EN2. Hopefully this helps them. Just found out about this through Tsukishido Aoi streaming right now. The use of karaoke audio gets me hopeful for covers of Riot Music Originals. And that's the benefit that you get. It's like, oh, we will not copyright strike your stuff because you're part of our network now. That helps a lot. That helps a ton for anybody doing any kind of music work. As everyone knows, I have been talking about this. Uh, I talked about it yesterday, uh, last night, uh, which was the 1st of August, it, when it came out, when it was you know first talked about, uh, when I found the Google Doc about it, and we went over the whole Google Doc. Now we're going over something that uh, Powder, which is the one that was accusing this other Lily VTuber of doing things, um, is saying. Now let's hear them from their words themselves. They say, I intended harm for myself to them. So let's let's see what they actually say. I don't know what they're doing, but let's say what they, let's hear it. And you were emotional, I didn't but unfortunately intend that's what harm from other people. I intended harm from myself to them, right? So um, they intended to harass. Yeah, that's not what happened, girl. I understand. That's not what happened at all. I understand, but I'm I'm trying to like get your advice in this. Should well, I? Like, I would never really that I. I would never really like that I was... harm from me to somebody else. You know, like I don't I don't think <laughs> well, that way. That's so, a... and you're emotional, I but unfortunately, that's that's the thing. 
like, and here we go. Okay, but like make it a response where you're being purposely antagonizing and tagging people by excusing them uh, with a humor is my coping mechanism. It's icky. Uh, it's for you. The girl, this is not it. Why are you being so necessarily mean? Humor is my coping mechanism. Doesn't make it any less malicious. Just talk S behind closed doors. Vent, I don't know, dude. I hope she never sees it. She isn't necessarily harassed. I tagged her, so it's a little too late for that. Why not delete the tweet with the tags and avoid harassment? Exactly. And here we have more continuation of what's going on here. And of course, let's take a look at what exactly is happening here. Change your mind about her thinking that this person one, copied her. One of You're not going to change that much. You're not going to change your mind. But yes, she does recognize that she acted a little uh, rashly and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it, it acknowledges that. Is that fair? Is that good? I don't want to put uh, words yes. her. No, I, I do feel like I acted... Um... Emotionally, I agree. Do I regret what I've done? No. Um, okay, am so I currently still emotional about it? Yeah, probably. Um, she is. Do I want to apologize? No. Um, I think you should. I honestly I, think I, she I, should. Uh, you know, that's. Uh, I honestly think she should. That's, I, that, that's on you. Yeah. If you want to do that. I honestly think that she should apologize. This shows the kind of anger that happens when you get it into your head that someone else is copying you. I have gone through this myself where people think I'm copying them because of the style of videos that I make, because of the thumbnails I make, because of that type of stuff. They think I'm copying them. They make, you know, docs and stuff like that. And they never do apologize because, you know, whatever. Even if people tell them, hey, you're wrong on this, they don't apologize. That's the way it is. And it says, do I regret what I've done? No. Do I want to apologize? No. I'm sure she said she's likely still emotional, but in my opinion, this is not an excuse uh, to actively try to harm others. I agree. It's not an excuse. This should never be a thing. There we go. And uh, let's go and see what this what they say here. I'm going to do it a little bit slower than I did last time. Everything becomes more and more of this is just bound to happen. You know what I mean? Like, it, it sucks, but yeah. I, I think you've I think you've said your piece. I think I, yeah. I, I would I, I, I would probably right. take down this snarky response. But, you know, I'm uh, not, but I appreciate yeah, that. No, I understand <laughs> that, that is your choice, girlie. That is um, your choice. Um, here's what's going to happen. It's their choice. Yes, that they're not taking it down. But what does this show? It shows that you are a spiteful person. It shows that you are, you are mean. You're wanting to be evil just to harm someone else. Anyone who could have possibly been a fan of yours in the future is not going to like that. There are people, of course, who gravitate towards that. That's why people who, uh, you know, drama bait, clickbait, whatever you want to call it, or try to expand and make things worse than they are, get so many clicks because people love the drama. But if you want to be a good person, you try to stay objective, you do realize, yes, I did make a mistake. I did become snarky. I was very angry at the situation, but I want to make things better. And that's what they should do, but they're not going to do this. I highly recommend people watch the full VOD if they're curious. I ain't adding more to the thread because there isn't more to be said. Don't harass her OBS. Don't harass her, obviously. And uh, I hope she actually does get the right thing in the end. So she, I hope she does the right thing in the end myself as well. Do not harass this person. This is just showing the type of person she is to kind of give you an idea of, you know, her reasoning a little bit, what's happening, why they did what they did, that type of thing. Do not harass them. I am never, this is never accepted in my community to harass someone else. So please don't. That's why I always mention this because I do not want people ever taking my words to mean harass and, and you know, hurt someone else. Now I said I would leave the thread here in a while so the advice no one harass her at all. To include this, hide replies of people calling her out. Engages with obvious anti-S masterful gambit. Uh, this is Ruka VTuber, the whole drama about color palettes. I can laugh and move past, but bruh, she actively engages in, with anti-Semites. Oh, God. Here we go. This person, Kek, here. Wait, where, who, what? And then, uh, hello. Oh, God. This is crazy. I don't think she's actively, like, encouraging these people. I think she's just honestly is, is surprised that someone is actually doing that. I'm not going to put words in her mouth and say that she's actively, you know, courting that side because that would be very irresponsible of me to do. Um, this could very well just be someone that was doing that to, you know, try to be, you know, the 4chan type of posting and she's finding it crazy that people are even doing that. Imagine what we could have been. Uh, yeah, these are obviously anti that type of people. Yeah, these are probably obviously um, advocating and uh, glorifying that side. Uh, I think because she's a VTuber, she doesn't know how to deal with that kind of stuff. A lot of VTubers, a lot of people don't know how to deal with that kind of stuff. Usually these you uh, hide, you just get rid of. Uh, you're like, I disavow that. You know, you just do not engage with them. And that's the mistake that she's made. She's made a ton of mistakes. She has a chance to recover. She has a chance to fix things, but I don't think she will. Mean Girl BS makes me sick. The thing that makes me scared is that she's massive following. There's likely some people in it who are pretty impressionable too. 
that's what I always say. Be responsible with what you do. Do not go and just create hate just for the sake of creating hate. Do not create hate because you're angry at somebody. It will hurt someone else. Be very responsible with what you do. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Be very responsible. Just showing you what's out there. Of course, reminding you, do not harass anybody. Having to block someone I looked up to sucks. Oh my God. Uh, maybe one day when she realizes her errors of her ways and works to improve herself, but you can't block her. There's always hope. And of course here, says if you needed more confirmation she generally meant to do harm here's a straight up stating that it was meant to be harmful and she thought it was funny pretty sure it's against like tos on the internet right yeah i said the tiktok was funny and mean to be mean meant to be mean aka do harm i think it's pretty clear that anyone who posts something like this isn't the oh no i had no clue what i was going on so she says that she did it on purpose and here is her actual status that she has that i want to put out here she says Okay, sorry, I'm a freak. I'm not as well worded as most people on drama, so ignore if you don't care. This is about uh, this isn't about owning anything. It's about a bigger account versus a smaller account. This is a question about creativity and lack thereof. Uh, it's a question about when do consequences start becoming too much. It's about being oblivious to the similarities and possible consequences of how that makes someone feel. An easily avoidable thing that well ignored. What ignored didn't go ignored, by the way. If you look at my video, that it is the video that has the idol. Uh, being being uh, Rin Penrose on there that has Rin Penrose as the main one last, done last night. If you look at the one that the Google Doc that I showed there, she did not ignore things. She tried to fix things. She even talked with her artist. The artist even talked to to Powder in trying to fix things. This this is a misrepresentation of everything. Make someone feel easily avoidable thing when ignored could have been nipped in the butt early. I can't control what other people do about my feelings, but I'm going to react in a negative way when I've been ignored and lied to about my compromise. Uh, if you believe it's okay just look at each other then well i don't really understand your mindset i want to see creativity this person posted it on here this vague post was made because the comparisons did not stop it was a message to others that i was aware and tried to talk i would never have dropped a google doc tiktok or dms if i hadn't been specifically called out uh, by both the artist and the vtuber of course they called you out because you were negative about everything oh, i'm sorry i want to add that you've already written off my feelings because of dumbass tiktok uh then i can't prove myself to you anymore i've shown you everything i can and i'll drop everything uh, here and say my last final piece. Some of you mean people are quoting a serial harasser as well. That helps push your opinion and so be it. No, no one should be harassing anybody. Here, uh, she's trying to be the victim. She's trying to play a victim. I want to see creativity. I want to see uniqueness. I don't want to be pushed the narrative that it's okay for people just to like be like everyone else. Uh, look at the bigger picture and stop focusing on things emotionally. Uh, I think it's okay to criticize when you have all the information, but it's not okay to constantly berate somebody. I always try to keep it 100 with y'all. I don't want us to have fast an apology. So yeah, this is just bad news. This is bad stuff that's going on. I hate to have to put this out there, but I want all sides of the story to be out there. Welcome back everybody to the VTuber Showcase, a place where I try to give back to the community who has given so much to me by showcasing some VTubers here and there who I believe, like every single VTuber out there, deserves to be viewed a little bit more, deserves to have at least this little spotlight shown on them. Every single VTuber deserves this. Unfortunately, there's not enough hours in the day, but here goes with uh, Azure Gemabyte or Gemabyte. I apologize if I mispronounced that one. Uh, the 21 plus she heard demon moon bear drawing pixel art and screaming at my screen in the process. Of course, because art is can be frustra frustrating going through all the steps and maybe, you know, it not looking exactly how you want, when you want it, that type of thing. I'm not an artist, but I have dabbled in trying to do art occasionally. And boy, can it be frustrating. Uh, for the uninitiated like myself, it can be frustrating. Let's take a look at their YouTube channel. Uh, here is a helpful guide to Azure Gamma Byte. Not mean that. What do you mean pixel art is easy? I do not have an addiction to tea or keyboards. Why are pretty women always fairy? Oh, God. Good intro. Celestial Willow Jam. Here go! Go! Be thankful that the only cause of this lesson was an eye. Boy! Oh, man. Yeah, she, she's peeking. She's peeking. That's that's a little bit of a view of what I wanted you to see on that. And of course, on her streams, she does shows her pixel art process, which even though a lot of some people might be thinking, oh, it's easy, but no, it takes it takes a lot. It takes a lot of uh, figuring out what exactly what you're going to be doing. We're going to be putting the pixels, the the sizing stuff. I've tried to do pixel art myself. I suck at it. So I absolutely always Always am impressed with any single artist that is involved with any of this. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a view of this and a little bit of a different one because this is uh, more art based. And of course, they have their VGen and everything like that available if you do want to do art with them. Uh, thank you so much for Azure for being a part of this VTuber showcase. And I hope this helps bring a little bit more eyes to your content and helps you in the future.
That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.